steps. Both of you guys have tags? Yeah. Okay. It could be a down. boom show. Did you get the intro yet? No. Dan Bowers, Blacktail Legend. Oh, okay. Taylor, Youth Hunter of like <laughs> Yeah, the century. What do you think, Taylor? Huh? What do you think? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Hopefully we get one. What are the what's the name of the buck we're going after? Vader. Why is that? Because he's big and heavy and black horned. system but it's all blocked off long ways in so hopefully faders out with some does or something so today is pretty special for me not only uh, because uh, I get to go on with Trent and Trevor in the last day but get to go with Danny and uh, he's been one of kind of a guy I've looked up to for a lot of years actually known him for 20 when I worked there and um, he's taken me out but we've never really got to hunt much together the struggle is a real video I think that before that a couple two years ago archery elk I missed a giant Roosevelt and he went back in with me in the afternoon and called it in couldn't get a shot and um, yeah it's just a guy I've looked up to for a lot of years and he's probably literally one of the best outdoorsmen that I know doesn't matter where he's at. He, uh, he's got a positive attitude and he usually turns up a pretty good little critter. Stuff Trevor has. Tripod, everything, bad maneuver last day of season. Bad, bad maneuver. You gotta be agile, you gotta be quick. I'll have three shots off before he even gets his all his stuff off. How do you feel about it? <laughs> Is it? The back one? It's a three or a four point. I'm shooting. <laughs> Go ahead, Trevor. Here, Cody. Oh, let's go with that beauty. Ah, <laughs> but count me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we brought you, Cody. That's why we brought you. I had, to bring in, had to bring in the ringer. Like a counterbalance. <laughs> How far is that, Trevor? Too far. Too far. You brag about these guns. Oh, we got this. That's awesome. We got a pin for that. How far is it? They're fighting. Yeah, they're. I don't know if it's fighting. It's more of a spar. Breakdance fighting. It looks like a buck that will be a representative of the species. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought you said he was big. Well, for you. Oh, good call. No, he's not. He's oh, not they're, gonna... they're actually going at it. 
Wow. So he's a black horn three point, and that's a I don't know what little fork or three. What's the range? It's nine hundred and forty-four yards. unless you can hear somebody's dog barking. Well, nothing here. Showers. We saw a couple does. There's a couple does on that timber line, but what you're looking at now is a oh, bucket right here. There's a couple does clear down there on the timber line. So now that the fog's broke just a little bit, we are throwing rocks. We've resulted to throwing rocks. It's been a proven technique in the past. We have rolled some serious rocks. First you start by the sneak tactic, and then you start by the, hey, we're right here tactic. Get up and run so we can have a real rodeo trying to shoot at you. It's been raining for the last hour. It is uh, update time, 10, 9.59. So we're gonna actually hike back out of here and go get Taylor on the way, and then maybe go try a spot where Wyatt killed his buck last week. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. This is where Wyatt shot his buck. It's kind of fogged in though. I was really hoping it would be open because there's, I guarantee there's deer in here. There's a pit of lava down there. It's the center of the earth. It's that steep. How do you feel about bike hunting right now? <laughs> is that? You know, I'm looking at like a huffy in here. No, it's a schwinn. It's a schwinn. Uh, that looks like it could break in half. This uh, one's pumped up pretty good too. This tire looks like it's gonna blow up about a that's quarter a mile. That's yeah. the replacement rim that you bought me after borrowing my trailer and disintegrating it. That's my wife's it's bike. Like it was used a lot. That's That's my neighbor Jason's bike. This is my bike. I rode it in July. And we bought a new bike pump. What do you got going on here? Um, well, this is my wife's bike. It's been used once or twice. I think, I think it's this. Um, either, it's, is that bad when you got a flat spot worn in? <laughs> it doesn't look good. Oh, look at that. That's like for a hole there. Look at, look at that. that. Doesn't look like a ton of traffic. What do you got going on? <laughs> you just felt like you needed to run some cutting gloves. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I felt like I should glove up. I'm not sure. There's tough to say what we'll get into. We've got the bikes. We've got, and these are like competition bikes here. <laughs> get my seat straight. There we go. I've got the Schwinn Power. This is straight out of Walmart, I believe. Tires are pumped up enough. We're gonna do this. Very last night, we've got about three hours, maybe two and a half. What's, so what's the standards gone to? Because this that morning was either a spike by fork yes. or a 120 buck. And no, now, whoa, 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 no, 100. 100, 100, 100 inch buck. I dropped that to 95, <laughs> which may have been dropped to 75. 90 or 75. Or a tiny little, tiny, tiny, tiny little crab pinch of fork and horn, because then I don't have to pay my money. I've got standards. I mean. But they're just not that high. Oh. Is this Frank Andrews? Yep. <laughs> well, the A team's back here. Um on the non-motorized bikes and um, I just 
said 100% guaranteed. 100%. Spotify. 100%. <laughs> it was not a deer. <laughs> <laughs> Which I would have lost a dollar, so I was a lot riding on it. Steve Howard. Oh. Uh, I think it's on the left side a little bit. You'll see a stump and then some bushes and there's a shadow and you can see its neck and its head and its shoulder and but, it's lying down. But can you? But can you, bud? I don't know, bud. You don't think so? I think it's a stump. Oh. I think it's a stump and a log. Hey, between Taylor and I, we're two, two for two, two on stumps, maybe. I'm over here. I feel like I haven't even done anything yet. You I haven't have. spotted a stump yet. So Trevor just texted that he's got a fork and horn by three points spotted. And he said he's small. Cody said shoot it. <laughs> and I'm going to reply shoot it as well. So uh ready to sweat into the oldies. Yeah, this is gonna be Bob Richard Simmons. This is gonna be a push up this hill, isn't it, bud? Are you excited? Uh, I don't think. He's not excited. <sighs> I forgot bike hunting, how much it sucked to go uphill. Just give me a brief description. <laughs> you <Yeah>. know, <laughs> your last little, little, little hour or so. You know I'm upset, right? <laughs> what happened? Uh, well, did you miss? Uh, it worse. Worse than that. <laughs> worse. So we, we were... Like we'll, let we'll let Dan oh. tell the story. Did you guys <laughs> blow it on a big bus? No, we went over there and there was a fork and horn spike and a doe. He jacked the shell and so we were sneaking over the side. Well, they kind of bounced off, did their thing, and he's like, all right, so he, he took his shell out. Well, it was a little little tension. We kind of ripped on her. Well, his casing came out. <laughs> his bullet was stuck in his lamp. <laughs> he's he's muzzle loading. Yeah. So, so oh, I that. literally pulled it up and all of a sudden, it was like confetti went <laughs> <laughs> So it was getting that time because you know there's some adult does and that kind of stuff. No one knows what we're looking at. It was like, yeah, we can't even look. We can't even look. You just left it, we, didn't you? We, yeah, we can't, couldn't look. We left three bucks standing there and we just packed up our stuff and went home. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a house way down here. There's a giant buck Cody just saw chasing a doe down, clear down on private. It's way, way. Right there. Private. He just jumped it. You see him? He just, some, something just jumped the fence there. We don't have time to get down there because it is oh, private. Tall. They're spotting the buck. Can Where's your scope there? at? Yeah, here, look. Where's the big scope at? You could probably gather more light. Yeah. So anyway, Trevor's got a bullet jammed in his gun. We didn't get any deer. We didn't get any deer, and now we got to ride out of here on our jalopy bikes. Uh, it's been a pretty good banner day, banner day. I just want to let's let Trevor finish this clip, finish this film off here. Hey, Trevor, there you go. What? You finish it off for us, would you? No, I don't want to. <laughs> you have, you can just sit there and laugh and act happy. It's the last day of deer season. I'm hunting my butt off, and I only have a bullet stuck in my rifle. I think he's upset, maybe, so let's give him some time. Um, it's a huge she, buck, Trent. Is it? It's a huge one. It's a huge black horn. Tall, massive buck. Don't screw this up, Trevor. When he turns, he's like this. He's a big. Yeah. That's a pretty big one. Yeah, that is a big one. At a mile away, he's a good one. That's a big sucker. I don't think so. No, he's up above. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. Mm. That one's full grown. <laughs> <laughs> full grown. Do you think it's the one we see? Right up the far way to 
That's a long way. You know any youth hunters? I do. Not that I want to shoot that one. <laughs> <laughs> so that pretty much sums up our day. So thank you guys so much for watching this. We're going to bike out of here. We're going to um, try to pick Trevor up off the ground. And uh, I'd rather. Depression. They call that depression. Anyway. Thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.